Aboru boye. Ifa onu mi la. Aboru. Aboye. Abo shishe. For me personally. Uh, ifa. Onu mi la. Is. The key. To get access. To all. The treasure of Yoruba. Theology. Ifa is the rich of wisdom. Ifa, I call the far, I, I personally call the far my spiritual GPS. Okay, this is my own uh, definition for Ifa. Because whenever I need to do something, to take a decision, whenever I don't want to get lost, whenever I want to do things in the best way, I go to Ifa. Because I know that the wisdom of Ifa will answer my question precisely. This is why we say, Afini Mono San Ifa. It is Ifa that shows us the right, correct, precise direction in life. If we understand that Ifa is Afini more or not, the one that gives us the accurate, precise orientation about the direction to follow, it means that Ifa is to give us the necessary wisdom, knowledge, understanding, perception, self-confidence to do things in the right way. We can only achieve our targets when we do things in the correct way. In this sense, I will say Ifa is in our time, Ifa is in our action, Ifa is present in our thoughts when we are devoted to Ifa. We all know that in Yoruba civilization, in our society, we don't do anything without consulting Ifa. To get married, we go to Ifa. If you have any social crisis, we go to Ifa. If we intend to put someone in the social position, hierarchically, we go to Ifa. If a king will be crowned, we go to Ifa. If a child is born, we go to Ifa to perform the Akosejaye or Esentaye. When we want to start a new business, we go to Ifa to ask if that business will be successful and what to do to minimize the negativities in our lives. The wisdom of, of Ifa is to reveal to us all the compatibilities in our predestination. This is why we call Lifa Afidimono, the one that shows the right direction to follow in life. I believe that everybody in life has a dream or dreams. Our dream in the first place is to have everything well done. Our dream in life is also not uh, to get lost. And also our dream is to bring out the best of us in our life. And when we know our destiny, when we understand our destiny, or when we can really uh, have the possibility to see the compatibilities in our destiny, we make the right, the right choice. When we consult Ifa, when we have divination readings with Ifa, we don't get lost. This is why we call Ifa Afinimono. Another name of Ifa, that is the nickname uh, 
we refer to it as is eleri ikin. Eleri ikin means the witness of human's predestination. We believe that uh, Ifa was one of the primordial Orishas created by Ledumari to give support to our Ori so that whenever we have any question to ask, to ask, whenever we have a decision to take, whenever we don't know what to do, we have Ifa to give us the answer. And uh, Ifa is, is among all these Orishas that provides for our lives what our money cannot buy. When someone needs to buy some, uh, some materials, they go to the store. Someone can borrow it to them. Someone can give it to you. But when you need wisdom, when you, did, when you need good sense, when you need to take a, a good decision about your life, when you need an inspiration, who can give this to you? Who can tell you the right direction to follow? Someone can share his or experience with us. We can buy consultancy, but uh, we cannot buy wisdom. Wisdom is a self sentiment, perception, and understanding. But the far and the richers, they make us more wise. Because wisdom is the consequence of saying the right thing and doing the right thing. Wisdom is the consequence of how we position our mind in life to have the best of everything. Wisdom is the process of self-development. Uh, people like to talk about evolution, but I see this as mental, emotional, spiritual development. We develop our life with wisdom. We have the self-confidence to take the right decision, to do the right thing at the right time, at the right space and place. So when we go to Ifa, Ifa we map out in our lives, our own favorable time, space, place. So by doing things in the right time, in the right space, in the right place, we got the right answer. So uh, we believe in Yoruba theology that uh, no question should be left unanswered. We believe in Yoruba theology that time, Igba, is one of the most expensive, complex, thing we have in life. So how can we optimize or explore precisely our time? If I give us the answer. With Ifa, we don't get lost. So this is why we say Kiama Ashino La Shimbiri Lawa we consult Ifa not to get lost. That is the wisdom of Ifa we prevent us also from failure. In this sense, Ifa can be regarded as the Orisha of wisdom, of knowledge, the Orisha which we can use to answer our questions, to diagnose the situation, and to give the orientation if I provide the orientation of what to do, how to do things, and what to expect. This is why all readings, all divinations with Ifa always lead to Ebo. Ebo is a complementary rituals 
to Ifa or in Ifa because Ebo established the, our attractive energy to attract what's the good things that are missing in our lives or what the good things we need in our lives. Ebo is for protection. It protects us against bad luck. It is also prevention. It prevents our lives from negative experiences. Ebo is a healing process because it gives us the spiritual energy to heal all our illness, either biological illness, mental illness, emotional illness, spiritual illness. So Ebo gives the indication on what to do to achieve and experience a better life. Yoruba theology is not a theology that is passive with sufferness, with pain. We believe that uh, we are not born to tolerate pain and sufferness. And this is the main reason why all the Orishas contribute to the healing of our sufferness. Each one of them with their essence, with their share, to provide for us the necessary share for our survivalness and to surpass all our difficulties in life. Ifa Orumila is also the share of orientation. When we consult Ifa, the Ifa priest, either Babalawu or Yanifa, will consult Ifa either with the king or Pele, as we know, okay, by asking our Ori, our Eleda, what are the hidden secrets in our lives? And also, what can be done so that we can have a better life? If a priest doesn't invent, if a priest follow the primordial methods of divination, of counseling, of orientation, since the era, since the primordial era, an Ifa priest will never uh, manifest his opinion when someone comes from divination. We use Ikin or Pele to consult the hidden secrets in that person's ori because everyone possesses his own ori, his own destiny or, pre or predestination. And uh, as we know that uh, Ifa or Numila is uh, the witness of destiny, of human's destiny, which we, that is why we call him Eleri the witness of human's destiny. So by this, Ifa knows everything about our lives. The Ifa priest is so confident in his knowledge because it took him so many years to be qualified as a Ifa priest. But his work is to consult the wisdom of Ifa and through this, the wisdom of Ifa, he will ask, he will establish a communication with the Ori of the council of the client. And through this, he get the correct to do from which he will extract the necessary informations that will be transmitted to the client. With uh, the metaphors from uh, the literary copies of Ifa, he will do the translation, the interpretation, and give the orientation. Of course, all these include his technical abilities from his long life training, his own personal experience also, and maturity. 
because uh, the Babalawos and the Yanifas, they are considered as a very matured people because they are of a huge responsibilities. They are also the treasure, treasurers of uh, Yoruba theology. Divination with Ifa, they take, we take a lot of decisions. And whatever we hear from Ifa is the final point. Because Ifa is precise. Ifa is real. And in Ifa, there's no contradiction. So by this, the priest uh, will prescribe a ball, offerings when necessary, and counseling. So we have the Udu from the divination, we are, which will assist the priest what to say, what to do. In, con in, in continuation, then we have the prescription of a ball, at times of some offering or offerings and counseling. The counseling is the real orientation. If and if a priest is not a speculator, if a doesn't speculate, and if a priest really doesn't guess about the situation, whatever he says is the correct answer always. At least when he follow the principles of Ifa, he has the do from the divination to follow. Very simple like this. So the Ifa priest has also the responsibility to study a little of the plants because he also practice uh, spiritual healing. And when, we, when I say spiritual healing, I'm talking about uh, spiritual therapy from a ball with a ball for mental, emotional, material, spiritual problems. And when there is a physical problem, when necessary, the priest will prescribe for the client to consult the doctors allopathy, the modern medicine. So to understand that uh, uh, in Ifa, there is a good science. Ifa is good science. A babalawo will never disencourage a client to go and see the medical doctor. For instance, if someone needs to go through a surgery, a babalawo would just prescribe a ball to have a successful surgery, a successful treatment. So, uh, IFA is an independent and complementary healing process. It depends on the situation of each one. But the most notable point is, IFA provides for our life what our money cannot buy. This is the most thing we have to think in, about Ifa and all the Orishas. What we get from Ifa and the Orishas are priceless. Our MasterCard, our Visa card, our Diamond card, our Gold card, what they cannot buy is what we get from Ifa and the Orishas. Ifa, wisdom, they are shared from Ifa. Everything from Ifa are priceless. And there are things no one can give to us. If I makes our way to function better, our intuitions, our perceptions, our understandings about life, if I makes us a better person. And this is these are the reasons why we go for Ifa initiation. You have probably heard about Itefa. The process of Itefa vary from Babalawo to Babalawo, from city to city, from Ifa family to Ifa family. But uh, at the end, the purpose of Itefa 
is the same. A fire initiation is to give us the chance to be reborn while we are still alive. A fire initiation process gives us the chance to know how I will do and consequently the taboos we have to adopt in our lives. Because most of people, they have difficulties in their lives for not knowing their taboos. What are the compatible energies, food, attitudes, thoughts in their lives? And the more we know about our Ori, the better our life is going to be. The more we understand what are the compatible energies in our life, more realizations we have in life. This is why we call the Fa Afini Mono. As we know that the Fa is Afini Mono, which I lovely called my GPS. Afini Mono is the one that shows the direction by answering our questions, by giving us advice, orientations, by telling us what to do, what not to do, when, how, and where. So Ifa is in our, is in our lifetime. Ifa is in our environment. Ifa supports our thoughts to be more functional. When we go for Itefa, we come out with our Udu. And from this Udu, the priest will give us the necessary explanations, interpretations, which we follow for the rest of our life so that we don't get lost, we don't come into contradictions in our mind. When someone is, is initiated in Ifa, he, he will basically get rid of contradictions because your do will always be there for you to answer your questions. And the taboo that your do will reveal to you will help you uh, not to make some mistakes in life and to preserve your vital energies. Because it is not everything we do in life that is good for us. It is not everything that we eat that is good for us. And it is not everything we say that is good for us. Even, we can also say that if I support to improve our temperaments and personalities, because it is not everything that we do that are compatible with our lives. And this is, these are the major reasons why we go for a fire initiation. The chance to reset our destiny, our life. The chance not to repeat those mistakes we had before the initiation. So a fire initiation is the chance for the new life without any burden on our shoulders. Ifa is the light in our life. And when we get initiated into Ifa, this light will never switch off. With our Udu, we can consult our Uluwo at any time to give us orientation regarding any decision we wish to take. So Ifa is vital in our theology because in Ifa you have everything regarding Yoruba civilization because Yoruba civilization is a civilization of respect. Yoruba civilization is a civilization of dignity. Yoruba civilization is a civilization of responsibility. Yoruba civilization is a civilization of love. Yoruba civilization is a civilization of caring. So these are the reasons why all the Orishas are extremely important in our life. Eshu is together with Ifa 
that is, she will give us the share of discipline to use in the better way in our benefit the asher we get from a fire initiation. Oshun, she's the goddess of love, of caring, of fertility. When we have Oshun in our lives, we adopt all this concept in the better way. So, little by little, by adopting the virtues of each Orisha, we can be able to construct a better life. Because the purpose of the Orisha is to make this planet a nice, good place to be. And each one of us has to contribute with our, with our own part. And when we talk about Ifa, Ifa is always telling us, teaching us, giving us the orientation, the right way to do things. So this is why uh, Ifa and the fire initiation also support the environment, the society to be more to be more peaceful and harmonized. I spoke about uh, individual destiny, Uri Eleda. Everything that exists in this life has its own destiny. We individually have our possess our own destiny. Uh, our society possesses the collective destiny. Our family has its own destiny. Everything in life has its own destiny. So, Ifa also refer to the collective destiny. And this is why also in all the Yoruba cities, you, you have what we call Idafailu, the divin, Ifa divination, or if orientation for the well-being of the city, of the town. We, Yorubas, every one of us, we know that there is no any town, any city, any village which doesn't possess its own babalawo, its own ifa. When we have any hardship, when we have any difficulties, when we have any problem, even political crisis, we go to ifa on how to bring peace and harmony to our collective destiny. So Ifa is not only for the benefit only of only one person. The thought of Ifa is to bring peace into this universe. This is why we call, we say that Ifa Bawa Tuan Yeshe, Ifa will give us his spiritual support, is wisdom, is knowledge to help us to restore the peace, the harmony of this universe. If I will give us the support to improve this universe, because with wisdom, we can bring solution to many crises. And these are the reasons why for all the towns, for all the cities, for all the villages, we, ha we have the ritual called Idafailu, that is divination for the town, for the city, for the village, or for the country. For if I to prescribe for us what we can do to make our society more peaceful and harmonized. By this, I have my own opinion, my own conclusion, that if I influence our environment, if I protect our environment, because from the orientation from if I, we, we have the prescription of the precise necessary about to be done for our environment. We do above for our environment. We do offering for our environment because if our wisdom contributes into the better living style of human race. If our if our Rumila Abawa Tuayeshe, if our Rumila will always give us the necessary wisdom and knowledge 
to make this planet a better place to be.